1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 18. For as much as ye know that you are not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by the tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Hamashiach as of a lamb without blemish and without a spot, who verily <clears throat> was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you, whom by him do believe in the Most High, that raised him from the dead and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in the Most High. I want to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching his truth and for ruling well. And peace, salutation to you all came out there pushing and defending this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth, as well as to the believers in Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the men, as well as the women, the hopeful elect. This is the brother Kahana Law from the GMS Hawaii. And I wanted to do a lesson, you know, um, inspired by a conversation I was having with somebody pretty much about uh, uh, repentance, you know, true repentance. And, uh, you know, the first scripture that, I, that came to mind was uh, this scripture that you have in the screen here, 1 first Peter, first, Peter first um, chapter and the 18th verse. Which you know, um, which tells us, man, how how important you know um, the sacrifice that that the Lord did for us is, you know, and how how crucial it is for us to, to truly uh, repent, man. You know, I was having a conversation with a, a man I work with, and uh, you know, he was like telling me how all. He had um, stopped reading his Bible and and that, uh, you know, somehow we ended up talking about, you know, how people are hypocrites, you know, how, you know, the Christian, the Catholic world, uh, world uh, the people that, that so-called call themselves worshiping God are a bunch of hypocrites because... You know, they say they're godly. They say they believe in God. They say um, that they do God's work. But truly, you know, the, their, their works speak for themselves. You know, like the scriptures say, Paul said, you know, show me that works without faith. And I'll, sh well, show me that faith without works. I like it. And I'll show you my faith through my works. And uh, that's pretty much what we're called. Uh, to do when Yahweh Shah, the Mosai and his son reveal the truth unto us, man. You know, once the truth is revealed unto you, you're gonna first and foremost acknowledge uh, your offense towards the to, towards the Heavenly Father, man. And you're gonna check yourself. You're gonna be like, damn, I'm going off here, 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 and here. Acknowledge that you're going wrong. You know, a lot of people are in denial. A lot of people, something that we mentioned was that a lot of people don't like to read the scriptures, man, because uh, it condemns them. And pretty much that's what you got to do when you when you uh, come into this truth. You got to condemn, not yourself, but condemn the acts that you were doing in the world prior knowing the truth of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh you know, those, whatever it was, if it was adultery, if it was idolatry, if it was eating abominable things, those things you got to condemn. You got to be the judge of that. Because as I was telling the, the, the man, you know, I can't sit here and tell you like, look, Johnny, that's not his name, but, you know, let's just put it out there. Uh, Listen, Johnny, I can't I can't tell you like, oh, you're going off here and here and here and here because I don't know your private life. I don't I'm not with you 24 seven to, you know, to correct you and to tell you like this is where you got to change or whatever. You, you're the one that has to first and foremost read the scriptures with faith. 
and pray to the Lord to let you understand and let you see the light, man. Because that's what it is, you know. We walking in a world full of darkness. Like the scriptures say, you know, for, for gross darkness uh, has covered the, the minds of the people, roughly paraphrasing. You know, we walking in, in darkness in this world, and this world is, you know, filled with darkness. So it's hard to see the light, man, because you have so many different avenues to destruction, and a lot of them seem like they're godly. These religions, whatever sect of uh, Christianity or Catholicism, it seems like it's the way, because they'll tell you, oh, yeah, you know, we're worshiping the Most High, the God of the Bible, and so and so. But truly, they're, they're not. You see? So you got to pray to the Lord in sincerity and in truth to guide you to the real truth. And when you're reading the Bible, man, you got to understand that there's going to be things that you're going to have to, to condemn about yourself, those actions, and then say, you know what? These things got to change in order for me to, to serve the Most High. You know? And that's something that people in the world following after Christianity, Catholicism, and even some people that, you know, uh, are within Israel, man, are doing. They look at the word of the Most High and they don't think that they should change. They think that the Most High accepts you, that Yahweh accepts you as you are. And that's not true, man. You know, when you come to this truth, you have to renew yourself. The scriptures say to, to renew your mind daily. So how do you renew your mind? You gotta wash the filth that's in, in your in your mind. Through what? Through reading the scriptures, man. You gotta read the scriptures and pray to the Lord to, to give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And once you hear that word and act on it and you believe on it, that's where the acts the 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 acts come. Your 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 uh, works. You, you first hear the word. The scriptures say, "How can they believe in him whom they have not heard?" So you have to hear first the gospel, first and foremost. Hear the gospel, and once you hear the gospel, the true gospel, you're gonna start reading, and then you're gonna start building yourself spiritually. You see? And when you start doing that, the most high is going to start dealing with you, man. And you're going to see that the life that you are living is completely opposite of, of what you thought the most high was, man. I mean, it, it, it's going to be... It's a lot, let me word that better. It's going to be completely opposite of, of, of what the most high wants you to be. You know, you might have thoughts... Of, oh, well, you know, God is just good and he just doesn't want me to do evil. As long as I, I don't do evil, you know, kill somebody or do heavy drugs or whatever, I'm I'm good, right? Well, no, man. The Most High is, he, he gave up his son, Yahweh Shai. This is why, back to this precept, going around back around to this precept. You know, he gave his son, Yahweh Shai, for us. As a sacrifice of forgiveness, man. And for you to be, for you to partake in that in that uh, um, sacrifice of, of, of redemption, of forgiveness of sins, guess what? You have to believe wholly in what, what the Messiah said, which was what? To sin no more. You know, to turn back from your evil ways and to come back to the Father, man. And you do that through what? Through your through your actions. So you can't be out there committing adultery, being an idolater, you know, doing drugs, uh, uh, being a pimp, a whore. None of those things, man. You gotta be out there doing the the works that Yahweh Shai did himself, that the apostles did. That's what you were supposed to be doing. And this is why I was telling the man, like, look. 
a lot of people in the world will say that they believe in in God, but truly they they don't, man. And how can you tell by by the works? You could tell a good tree and a bad tree from from their fruits, man. If a tree is not bearing fruit, it is no good. That's why Yahushua made that you know a, a tree barren. Well, he he destroyed that barren tree, Salakia, because it wasn't giving no fruit. You know, a, a a a tree that does not bear good fruit is made to be cast into the fire, man. And the same thing with the people in the world, man. The two thirds of our people, they say they believe in the Most High. They say, oh yeah, if if loving if loving God is wrong, then I don't want to be right. And all this, you know, uh, mouth service that they do. But when you tell them, like, hey, you know, the Most High doesn't want you to eat shrimp, crab, and lobster. Hey, do you know that the Most High doesn't want you to be an idolater and you got to give up all these idols? Hey, do you know that the Most High doesn't want you to sleep with other men's women or look at them? or? And then people will start be like, nah, well, you know, the Most High did, that, did away with the... Um, you know, that's not really what it means. They start changing things up. You see? And that's where you could tell who's a believer in, in the Lord, man. If if, if you want to serve Yahabah Shem Yahushai, you better be ready, like the scriptures say, if, if you come to serve the Lord, prepare that self for temptation. Why? Because... You're going to be tempted to do the things that, that you're used to doing. You know, idolatry, eating abominable food, uh, adultery, doing all these things that to you in the world, it seemed like it was nothing. But now knowing the truth is a big thing. Committing adultery is a big thing. Be being an idolater is a big thing. So it's not like you're just going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to commit this little adultery here. Like, nah, man, the Lord's going to deal with you even harder now because you know the truth. And because you know the type of sacrifice that the Messiah made for you. That's why it says what? Oh, but you, Salakia. It says, um, let's read verse 18 again. It says, for as much as ye know that you are not redeemed <clears throat> with corruptible things as silver and gold for your vain conversation from your vain conversation received by the tradition uh, from your fathers. So you see, you're not redeemed by, by uh, material things, you know? Because back in the day before Yahweh Shah, what was the what was the 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 deal that if you committed certain sins, you would you know according to your sins bring a a dove or a a, a, a sacrificial lamb, you know, and sacrifice it for the redemption of your sins. So those things you could get easily, like ah whatever, I just you know pay for. For a lamb, pay for, a, uh, you know, for, for whatever animal it is that I'm going to sacrifice to the Lord. And then I'm good. Nah, this time, the Lord gave up his own life for us, man. Which is much more precious than anything in the universe, man. That's the son of the Most High, man. And he did it to, to redeem himself. And as well as to redeem us, his brethren, man. He didn't have to do that for us. But guess what? He loved us so much that he willingly gave up his life. That's why in the book of uh, John, the 14th or the 15th chapters, I don't remember exactly. It says that there is no greater love than for a friend to give up his life for, than for a man to give up his, his life for his friends, man. And that's what Yahweh did for us, man. He gave up his life being innocent of all the things that, that we committed. And he gave up his life 
willingly so that we could have redemption, man. So that the Lord could have mercy upon us in the day of judgment. And that we could come back as joint heirs with him in the kingdom, man. So it, it's not a, a a light thing. You see? So when somebody says, oh, oh, I believe in God or, you know, I serve the Most High. Man, look at their works. And you're going to see how 99.99999% of the people that say they believe in the Most High really don't, man. And that's why we always stress the, the election, man. It's a, a very few number of people that are chosen by the Heavenly Father to, to believe in him, man. You see, true, true um, <clears throat> repentance, man, means, you know, you turning back to the Father holy, man. A whole... Well, entirely, entirely. That, that's the word I was looking for. Um, you know, and that means uh, denying yourself, man. You see, a lot of people want to come into, uh, or come into the truth and then, you know, serve the Most High, man. And they, in their mind, have this idea of prosperity, man. That as soon as you turn uh, to God, to the church, it's just gonna be like. Man, we're, we're about to fucking take W's all the way, you know? We're going to leave inheritance to our kids and, you know, all this good uh, material gain is going to come to us. But it's the complete opposite, man. You're going to start to, to see, first and foremost, the wickedness that's all around us, man. And how this world wants you to be wicked. And that the the only ways to prosper is to be wicked, man. Now, I'm not saying, you know, brothers can't, you know, be successful, quote unquote, to an extent. But if you want to be like top CEO of a Fortune 500 company and build generational wealth and all these other things... Here on this side, man, hey, you got to be doing some wickedness, man. You either, uh, either idolizing money, worshiping money, you know, you doing crooked business, you working on every single Sabbath, even if you have the liberty not to. Why? Because you want to get that money. That bag is all you think about, man. You see? And that's why Esau puts all these luxuries and commodities and all these nice things that people desire in front of your face and he'll tell you like yeah you can achieve it you can achieve it look at this you know you could do it too and it's a lie man i mean you could to an extent if you do wickedness but you ain't never gonna have it like esau man but the heavenly father is giving us what the true <clears throat> salvation from this place man which is what to free our mind first and foremost from from those chains of of um from those chains of of deception that Esau has laid upon us all those uh strongholds that are within religion within philosophy all those things that they teach us and that we learn through through our uh, adulthood and childhood and gives us the truth, man. And then, Lord willing, we're part of that, that number that endures to the end. That stands tall for righteousness. For Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Then we'll be delivered from the judgment. Then we'll be delivered and rescued physically. And be delivered from these chains of darkness that are these bodies, man. That are prone to sin. That's the 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 salvation that we that the scriptures talk about, man. The true salvation. And then, of course, with that salvation comes what the establishing of the kingdom, man. I was explaining to the man like, look, the kingdom is not gonna be something in the clouds where 
you're just gonna be floating around in a white robe playing the harp all damn day long nah that's what Esau makes you think man the kingdom of heaven is gonna be here on earth it's gonna be a, a complete completely different dynamic than what's going on now man because it's gonna be in righteousness the way we build things is gonna be different the way we uh, manage things is gonna be different the music is gonna be different everything is gonna be in righteousness man everything is gonna be in, in, a, in a perfect tune with the Abashim Shot, man. The frequency is gonna be perfect for everything, man. And especially for us, the Israelites, man. You know, everybody's gonna benefit from the kingdom. The heathens, everybody, man. The animals. But us, the Israelites, man, it's gonna be just perfection at its finest, man. And that's why the scriptures say that we're gonna be singing you know singing and, and praising Yahabashim Shai in our beds man as soon as you wake up you're gonna be like call hello Yahabashim Shai because it's not like you're gonna wake up like a fucking alarm clock and you're like oh shit I'm late for work fuck 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 nah you're gonna wake up to whatever tickles your fancy like they say in the world some classical music somebody giving you a massage some women whatever you you like man and you're gonna wake up like like if it was a dream like oh man oh man call her law you how about shimmy i was shy you know L looking at the sunrise Look, looking at the sunrise You know you have I don't know brothers Could have their place however it is But my place man I'm going to be looking into the sunrise I'm going to have a garden right You know below my My bedroom So that I could wake up Boom Go down eat some fruits man Have my concubines my wives Give me fruits touch my animals you know probably have you know lions and tigers and dogs birds just come to me boom and walk down to the beach right there that's right after my garden chilling or a, or a lake with a nice waterfall hey <laughs> nothing that you can that you brothers and sisters can imagine can compare to what really is going to be the kingdom but that's just something that in my head I I would love to wake up to that man And then boom Plan whatever it is that we're gonna have to do Cause hey there's gonna be responsibilities Man we gotta take care of the, of the Lord's creation man But it's gonna be on that type of level Like It's, it's gonna already be an infrastructure Set up Where it's, it's, it's pretty much going Already you know The kingdom's gonna have You know uh people in charge you know the the, the two-thirds of our people that come back they're gonna have to wake up a little bit earlier you know to make sure everything's running and the same thing with the heathens they're gonna have to wake up extra early make sure everything is good make sure that that all the um that all the um shoot it escaped my mind all the tribute to what you have that all the tribute that's going to the to the sons and daughters of Israel is, is on point, packaged correctly. You know, that it's going out on time. Because the scriptures say that we're going to, you know, our gates are going to be open day and night continually, man. So that means that tribute is going to be coming every day, constantly. You see? So all those things are going to be going on early in the morning, throughout the day, throughout the night. While brothers is waking up, you know, while brothers is, you know, starting their day, meditating, praying to the Lord, you know, giving thanks to Yahweh, while we do that early morning, hey, the heathens is going to be moving, man. And then, then we're going to step in, boom, all right, what has to be done? Okay, so and so and so, let's handle it this way, dun, 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 give orders. 
make sure everything is good make sure everybody's you know doing everything according to plan and then boom break and we out and we do whatever we got to do if brothers want to travel to other planets all those things that's part of the salvation of the lord you see that's part of the reward that we're we're gonna be given lord willing we be part of the of the elect it's a great reward man and that's why it comes with a great what sacrifice on this side man we gotta bear our own cross we gotta bear the cross of what of giving up the things that we used to like and give up the things that we love on this side man our families or spending time with family spending times with with our friends or spending time on us you know brothers like to do certain things and you know or sports or hobbies whatever hey we have to give that up because we're too busy doing you know the, the work of the lord and just getting by man and that's how you're gonna start seeing like damn like this is what serving the Lord is. This is why the apostles were saying such and such things. This is why Yahweh Shai said that he that, that loves mother or, or, or brother or sisters or wives or sons more than me is not worthy of me. Because now you see the light. Now you see how the world really is against the most high, man. Now you see how this world is, is not conductive towards or righteousness and how you gotta detach from it now it all makes sense but when you're in christianity and catholicism when even if you're following the wrong doctrine within israel you think that you know coming to serve the lord is all about prosperity and life getting better and man why didn't i know about this before because now everything is going good I'm making money. I got a bunch of friends, so-called friends, brothers and sisters. And, oh, look, we go out on trips and do all of the. That's what Christianity and Catholicism and, you know, certain groups within Israel are. It's like a frat, a fraternity. Where, where, where you go and just hang out and, and chill and make it like a false... A pseudo brotherhood and that's why people like it so much man you see but when you come to serve the lord guess what you're you're gonna take l's man the scriptures say though they seem to to perish yet their hope is full of of uh, immortality man because in the eyes of the world we're, we seem like we perishing man like damn man look this is and this individual got into that uh, so-called religion and his life just you know it's terrible he can't eat certain things he doesn't celebrate certain things look at him uh, prohibiting his his uh, oh, prohibiting his um, his children from celebrating Christmas oh I feel bad for them you see so in the eyes of the world, it's like, oh, these people are nuts. They're, they threw their life away. But yet, our hope is that we receive that, that precious gift of salvation, that precious uh, uh, gift of, of, you know, of being coronated by the Lord, man, and given the kingdom, you see, which is far better than anything you can imagine on this side, man. Just wisdom alone, the scriptures say that uh, uh, for she is uh, more precious than, than rubies and is more valuable than anything, well, than that you could desire, roughly paraphrasing, man. So, hey, I'll trade that anytime for anything I got on this side because, shit, over here ain't nothing but fucking wickedness, man. And the little that you do have, everybody trying to take it. So... Fuck, sign me up You know, and this is why You know, brothers, myself We're out here doing this work, man Because we know Who we're dealing with We're dealing with the, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh And His Son, Yahweh Shai, man And they're not gonna Just say something and not do it, man
So, hey, remember, brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice that was done for our redemption, for our, for our, for the forgiveness of our sins, man, it wasn't just any old sacrifice, man, that just anybody could do. Nah, man, it was the only thing, the only sacrifice, that blood of Yahweh Shai was the only sacrifice that the Heavenly Father was willing to accept to forgive us, man. So keep strong. Double up on, 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 on faith, on prayers, man. That the Lord may strengthen you and ultimately bring you through through his spirit through that finish line, man. So with that, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Mukakadash. So next time, Lord willing, a shalom.